Okay, hope you all had a nice holiday. So today I want to share kind of my favorite MCP server setup for kind of productivity. So you can see here we have my email connected. I of course have a dedicated email to my AI agent. So I kind of separate from my uh, private email. So I just created like an AI agent Chris email on Gmail. So this is what is connected here to our MCP server. Uh, we have fetch to find information on web pages. We have brave to find the URLs and we have my global MPC server that is Gemini 2.5 pro. So this is the setup I've been using over the holidays, testing out how productive I can be. So today I just want to show you some of my findings and how I've been trying to use this. And I think it's super productive and I just wanted to share this setup. So let's just start by doing some simple stuff. So I'm just going to show you kind of the email server first so we can just uh, read uh, all emails in my inbox, something like this. So this is going to call up our email server that is connected to our... Okay, so we did 24 hours, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I meant all in inbox, right? So we want to separate that. We can also do 24 hours, but now we have all inbox, 50 results. I only got a couple of emails, so you can see we found all those, so that works great. You can kind of compare this so you can see we have the AI job. Hey man, if we look here, you can see, yeah, this is the emails we have. Um, so yeah, this is exactly how it works. We can send emails, we can write emails, we can read emails and we can search emails. So I really like this search function. If you are in a, in a bigger email inbox, it's very good at searching through those emails. Uh, I think it's better actually than the kind of the original Gmail search. So that is the email server. The Brave search kind of works as we've done before. We just search on the in the browser and we find some URLs. And the Fetch server is kind of just like scraping. And the Gemini 2.5 Pro is, uh, yeah, we can do this. So summarize this using Gemini. So we can feed this kind of into our Gemini 2.5. You can see here. Generate text, please summarize these two emails. So we feed this as context into Gemini 2.5 Pro. So this is useful sometimes. We can, of course, just use um, Claude 3.7 as is in Claude code. But sometimes we want a reasoning model if you're going to do some maths and stuff. So you can see, uh, yeah, yeah, this works pretty good. And we can, of course, send this. Send this to my boss at Chris. So let's do my email address, hotmail, is it? Yeah, hot, hotmail.com. So we can send this email. So you can probably see we're going to run this. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Send this. Yes. Boom. Sent. So we can check if we got it. And yeah, you can see AI and Chris. Here's the summary of my inbox emails. So you can see this is working pretty good. Uh, but we can do more complex things and this is what I've been testing out so we can just clear up this context now and we can oops, clear and we can start over again. So what you can do is chain this tool. So that is what's pretty cool. So let's say I wanted to find a job in AI. So I can do a prompt with something like I'm looking to find an AI engineer job in Paris. This could be anywhere. Can you check for me and give me a summary with some emails we can reach out to? So what's going to happen now is that we're going to combine all these tools. So the first thing is going to be the Brave search, AI engineers job in Paris, hiring companies, emails, contacts. So basically this is just searching up. You can see we find a bunch of uh, yeah, different URLs here. And now we're going to use the fetch server to get more information about these positions on AI jobs.ai location Paris. And now we are starting to collect different jobs here. You can see we're going to do a web search again. Mistral, AI Paris. Okay, pretty cool. So this is kind of automated now because we are using the agent here to do all this for us. And we could, of course, just say and don't ask again. So now we don't even have to yeah, say yes. So we're just going to watch at the end here what comes up. So remember, I wanted like a list of AI jobs, AI engineering jobs in Paris and some emails if that is possible. So let's see what we get back here after the yeah, process has gone through here. 
Okay, so you can see how fast this was. Now we can take a look here. So we have Mistral AI, Data Quality Specialist, uh, Teo uh, Data AI, of course, this is in Paris too, Lead AI Engineer, Doctor Lib, this is in Paris. So you can see everything is in Paris. We have Datadog, other notable jobs. So that is pretty cool. Uh, and we have some email addresses, press. We didn't really find a lot of emails, but that's fine. And then we can, of course, do send this list to my boss, and that's me. So yes, I want to send this. So let's check out the email we got. Okay, so here's all the jobs, right? We will send to my email, right? Perfect. So you can see how effective we can be by using this setup. That only took me like a couple of minutes to find some AI engineer jobs in Paris. Uh, but we can do other things too. We can do... Okay, so let's do something different. So now let's start with an email. So we have a job for you. Hello, Agent uh, Chris, AI Agent Chris. I need an overview of the API and the pricing for the latest OpenAI Model 03 and the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. Use the Gemini tool to create a nice localhost 3000 application to visually show the graphs and differences of the model. Answer me on this email when I can go to localhost 3000 to see the O3 versus Gemini 2.5 Pro overview. Best regards, your boss. So perfect, we have the email. Okay, so what we can do now, we can launch Claude, we can do MCP, okay, we are connected. So let's do, hello AI agent Chris, um, uh, can you check the latest emails uh, for the last 24 hours in our inbox and read them? So let's start with that, uh, because we know that one of these emails contains a mission or a job. Uh, yeah, we have this, so we're gonna read it, perfect. Now we get the full email here. Control R. So we can see the full email here. Great, okay. Uh, so now we can do... Okay, good. Uh, now just execute on the job you got. So now, hopefully now, it will read the email, it knows the job, and you can see it's gonna start creating an application, comparing O3. We're gonna go out, search the web browser for API pricing. We probably need to do the same with Gemini 2.5 Pro. Uh, we then we're gonna fetch pricing. So you can see it's using all the tools we gave it, and it's gonna be interesting to see if we can actually build the, we're gonna build the application. Uh, yeah, we can do that directory. So you can see now we are starting to build the model conversation. Uh, so remember, this was pretty cool, but it's, this com came from an email. Yeah, so we can just let it execute all this. It's gonna install the packages. So hopefully this works, we don't know. But basically, remember the last thing we wanted to do was to get an email telling us that we can go to localhost 3000 and check out the visuals for this application. So let's see what happens here now. I'm just gonna let it run out and then we're gonna see if we get the email. Okay, so it says now, now npm start, so this should be up and running. So now I wanna see if we remember the instructions that we have to send an email to Chris to let him know that the um, application is running. I don't think we can do this now while we are running this. So I'm probably gonna have to interrupt this. Maybe I should have prompted it uh, a bit different. Okay, that was almost correct. Uh, I think you need to swap the order. First, you need to send e an email to Chris, letting know that the application is ready, and then you need to run the server. So let's see if that fixes this, because this was just the way around, because we need to send the email first, and then we can actually do this. So let's see now, yeah, correct email address. So let's send this. So now I wanna see if it does the npm start, yes. Okay, so let's see if we got our email. Hello, boss Chris. I've completed the application. Uh, the visual conversion ready at localhost 3000. Detailed pricing, side by side, cost analysis. You can navigate here. Boom. <laughs> that is pretty cool, right? So, okay, so we can see some coding. You can see we have this reasoning speed. Okay, I wouldn't say the speed was that close. Key capabilities, cost analysis. You can see how. Uh, the difference is in price. Yes, the inputs are correct. 10, 20, okay. Uh, for the typical patterns, Gemini 2 offers better value for most developers. And uh, yeah, this is so cool, right? So this is kind of just opening the kind of uh, can, what we can actually do with these AI agents. So I was thinking, let's say we could have deployed this app 
that would have been more flexible. We could have sent this out to all of our colleagues. And this is just open up so many things we can do. So here we created an application on the fly instead of just writing this in, a, in an email. So it's pretty cool, right? So uh, I would just want to say what has been your favorite productivity setups? I could have gone on and done a bunch of other uh, use cases for this, but I will probably spare you for that and I will do some other in the upcoming futures. So let me know what kind of setups do you enjoy? Maybe I should have added some other setups here. I'm not quite sure. But uh, for this for me has just been like a mind opener for what we can do with this like already now, but also in the future, right? So let's say I have this connected to Vercel. So we, we time out. Um, and I could just deploy this. That I, I don't see any issues with that. That could have been easy. And we just got the simple deploy URL. Uh, but there's so other m many other things we can do and I had a lot of fun playing around with this this holiday So I just wanted to share this and maybe this give you some inspiration of what kind of productivity setups you want to build And I'm gonna keep sharing mine on this channel. So yeah, thank you for tuning in Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this gave you some ideas and let me know what kind of setups you enjoy the most uh, I never kind of respond to comments, but I try to read everything. So yeah, thanks for that and have a great day And we speak again probably tomorrow